Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Combat Wombat, and welcome to The Better Bounty. Now, this show is going to focus heavily on the upcoming MMORPG Star Wars The Old Republic. And fortunately enough, the NDA, the Non-Disclosure Agreement, has just recently been lifted to some degree. So what we can do, and I'm super excited for this, we can start taking a closer look at some features that are in the game testing process right now. So with this first video today, we're going to take a closer look at the Galactic Republic character creation. And we'll just go right in. Now this is your typical character creation screen right here. You can see your faction down there. And what you can see up top is, well, some kind of info tab. That's what I would call it. So what you get to do is you can get info on your equipment, the abilities, the advanced classes, the combat role, and the story that your particular class uh, unlocks, if that makes any sense. So what we have to do in this second step is we have to select a class. Now both factions get to pick between, pick four classes. You can choose between four classes. So, on our galactic side, we get the Jedi Knight, the Jedi Counselor, the Smuggler, and of course, the Trooper. Really nothing surprising here, all four classes should be somewhat familiar from the movies. So. And with this particular video, we're not really going to focus on the classes, since you can't customize those per se. We're going to focus on the species or, you know, the races, because those are actually the ones that you can customize and switch up a little bit. Right, but, but before we do that, excuse me, we're going to take a quick look at the info tab. So, this is your equipment, for instance, and obviously that changes between the classes just as well. Then you get your abilities, just a little summary right there. You can take a look at the two trees that will be available to you once you hit level 10. And you can see what role you're supposed to fulfill and the weapons you will be using and your armor, pro armor proficiency, your resource system, all that fun stuff. Then you get your combat roll right there, which is always nice and interesting. Something you would probably want to know before starting a game like that. And even a fairly nice look at your story, at your class's story. Not just two sentences, so that's actually quite, quite nice and neat. Okay, so yeah, why don't we just start and jump right in. Pick the Jedi Knight for now will do just fine with that and so those are the species that are available if you pick the Jedi Knight so let's go through those real quick we get the human race your standard human then and I apologize in advance I am not very uh, much into pronouncing Star Wars -y stuff properly um, which is due to the fact that native uh, English I'm sorry English is not my native language and um, also I am not extremely well integrated into the entire Star Wars universe I know some things but yeah you get the point I suppose so I'll, I'll, I'll just give it a try and if I fail horribly then just be sure to let me know in the comments so what we have here are the Muralukas maybe I don't know be sure to correct me on this one and then we get the Twi'lek, pretty sure I pronounced that right. And yikes, uh, the Zabrog, the Zabrog, something like that. Zabrog, whatever. And the the Mirialan, or something pretty close to that, hopefully. Yeah, but obviously my pronunciation isn't the subject of this video. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a closer look at all those races and species. And we'll start with the human. But actually, before we do that, we'll just check out what other races are available for the Republic. So, 
the Jedi Counselor, as you might already have guessed, unlocks different kinds of species. Not necessarily, not, not necessarily, but some actually do some classes. So we get the human again, and uh, as you can see, there is no difference. Okay. Well, that is working just fine for me in the video, isn't it? And I believe the smuggler gets the exact same classes. No, he does not. He unlocks the cyborg. So, yeah. Pretty much just looks like uh, the human model, but with some mechanical and te technical stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take a closer look just in a little bit. And the trooper only gets to pick between four classes, so. Uh, races, excuse me. So, those are the four species. Okay, so let's give it a try. Let's check out the humans first. Obviously, you can, you know, select the gender between female and the male. I'll just go with male for now. That's your male trooper right there. Now, and this is the last step of the character creation, as you can see right down there. We get to uh, play around with the appearance tab. So what we have are sliders. We can scroll out, zoom in, zoom out, obviously. And uh, yes, so we get our sliders. And there's a super cool feature, which I'm going to show you in just, just a second. So just set everything to standard for now so that this is your standard human. <laughs> and um, so the super duper cool feature that I'm so excited about is the fact that if you happen to be just as indecisive as I am when it comes to cr character creation, you can, lock you can lock the parts that you like and then you can randomize everything else. So let's say you really like this kind of body type and you just find really cool hair type, whatever, really. Like, yeah, like that. And you're, yes, this is what I want, but I'm not so sure on, you know, all the different kinds of skin colors and the complexion and the scars, not so sure about all that. You can lock your uh, body type and your hairstyle, for instance, and randomize everything else. So what this feature will do now is it will keep your hairstyle and your body type and just randomize everything else and actually this is a very neat feature this is very cool so yeah okay those are the four body types obviously you can just go ahead and randomize right so the body types this is your scrawny, tiny guy. Then uh, the proper aesthetic standard guy, loadout, whatever. Your muscular big man. And then there's your, I'm liking myself, them cookies. Yeah. For body types, not so sure why you, I, I mean, it does have some comedic potential, but I'm not, not so sure why you would necessarily want to go with something like that. I don't know. I think the female... Well, yeah, you'll see just in a little bit. Okay, anyway, so we'll go with just the standard whatever uh, body type. And we'll just go through the heads real quick. Now what you can see here is that not only the head shape uh, changes, but also the ears and uh, your nose, your chin, your jaw, just everything really. Eye shape and form, eyebrows, everything really, so. Probably should have, probably should have gotten rid of the scar before, but from your mistakes that you will learn. Okay, so those were the heads, and I'm just gonna go with that, whatever. And the scars. Some of those are actually very intense. And some of those look fairly... Um... 
I don't know, unreal? Not very authentic. Some of them are actually pretty cool. Just, you know, tiny scars. They actually look like scars, but some are just... Yeah. Subpar. Well, all kinds of scars. Right there. Okay. Then, complexion. Now, complexion is really interesting in itself, because this doesn't... Yeah, as you can see, it doesn't just change, say, uh, your eyebrows or whatever. It actually changes up your entire loadout or your face. It's just different kinds of additional facial modulations or modifications or whatever. So, yeah. Changes your skin tone to gives a little bit of rouge on your cheeks or just a little playing around with the colors and additional dirt or scars, just all kinds of stuff. There's surely some interesting choices. It's really nice. Okay, so eye color, just your standard eye colors really. We'll just stick with that. And uh, facial hair. kinds of variations, which is really nice. Some of these uh, tend to blend in very well with the hairstyles. Some of those, some of these actually don't, but most of them actually really do. They, they do look really nice. Some look like they were popped on and not actually grow out of your skin. Which is a little weird, but it's actually something, a problem that I have with a couple of things in this game. Some, some things just don't look all too authentic. Okay, tattoos. But there's one thing that makes me wonder. Uh, I don't believe there's a tattoo color slider, so if you happen or end up choosing one of these, you will be stuck with the color. Which is okay, I guess, because it didn't look too ridiculous, but might just have to, you know, might just want to add a slider. Hairstyles. So this is your, just really the typical stuff. It's nice to see a lot of uh, Western hairstyles too, because some MMOs tend to just load you up with all kinds of anime-ish hairstyles and, I don't know, the realism just kind of goes down the drain with that. So yeah, there's a nice variety. Is there one more? Oh, there is. Okay, we're just gonna go with this one real quick. And uh, hair colors. Yeah, especially the three lighter ones look a little fake. Like those look really nice, very cool. But the other ones, I'm not so sure about. And a uh, skin color. And same thing with skin color really like you get really cool skin colors really very authentic looking ones and then you just get some that look just like i don't know paint or something like those are all fine right but some so yeah there we go this is what you can do with the human male now what we're going to do now is we'll just Check out now the female real quick, and done. do some random loadouts. Obviously you get the point, the, uh, you know, you get an overview over all the skin tones and... You know, there's just all kinds of different faces. What we will do, though, 
Oh yeah, so we'll take a closer look at the body types. So this is number one. Two. Three. And four. Not so sure about the difference between four and two. I think the thighs are bigger. I don't know. Maybe around the waist, whatever. Um, so yeah, we'll just stick with that and um, just randomize a little more. There's some really nice things here too. So let's take a closer look at cosmetics because that is what really matters for the female characters, I suppose. Kind of stands out. All kinds of colors. Lip colors, eyeline, nur, eyeshadows, just all kinds of stuff. Which is nice, lots of variety. And then the, yeah, the tattoos. Okay, and let's check out the hairstyles. Because those are different, obviously. As you can see, and this is what they're doing most of the time. They add an, they add a hairstyle, and then they just add something onto it. So you have this one, this one, that one. You know, get the idea. Most of them are pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Apologies for skipping some of these, but I don't want to be clicking every single one because as it turns out my mouse clicking noise is just obnoxious, so Apologies for that by the way Yes, so those are our female humans Awesome Okay, let's take a look at the next species which would be the Zabrak we're just gonna stay with the trooper here because it really doesn't make any difference and we'll take a closer look at the female the for now and just randomize the male. The job done. So our body types. Again, I don't think they differ from species to species. So we don't have to go through those every single time. Right. And let's see. With those yellow ears, uh, eyes, holy crap. Jeez, what, what have I been smoking? Wow, um, with the yellow eyes, just, some of these look kind of feline, don't they? A little ferocious here and there. Almost looks like, like the, the face painting almost looks like whiskers to me. Yeah, so those are your head choices. And then we have those scars. Pretty much the same stuff you you saw with the human. So I don't think we'll go through those again. Yeah. Complexion. Yeah, this is a little more interesting. Look at what they're offering here. That's quite... That's quite something. Okay, eye color. Very intense looking eye colors. Holy crap. Okay, there we go. A little less killing. Tattoos. So what I, I guess you're stuck with one. You have to pick one. There's no no tattoo option, as far as I can tell. But they're all okay, I guess. They're not super crazy and uh, yeah. Horns and hair. So there's no separate sliders. And accessories, as far as I can tell.
but I'm liking the choices again. There's really, they've added a lot since the very beginning and they've been listening fairly closely, so that's nice. Let's see, red colors. And skin color, of course. So yeah, there's lots of nice variety and you can go from all dark to all lightened, almost whitish. You can make a crazy albino, if you so desire. Okay, and I'll check out the mail real soldier. quick. I'll get the job done. You get the job done? Well, that's nice. I'll randomize your appearance. Really some nice options here. Okay, let's check out the horns and hair cells. So there's always only horns, or a combination of both, as far as I can tell. I don't think there's only hair, which would make sense, obviously. There's probably lore people out there that are just like biting their nails and swearing at me. I'm sorry, guys. So yeah, that would be the Zabrak. Let's see what else we got here. A cyborg. Let's spice things up a little bit and just pick uh, the smuggler for this one. So really, nothing really changes, but you just get it, you know, the outfit looks different so you don't like fall to get too more. Look at that! He just jumped out of, I don't even know, like Wicked or something. Okay, probably not the first association you would you guys would make, but doesn't look like I I don't know maybe I'm thinking of something else. Okay, so the body type. Let's see, head. Okay, let's get rid of the cybernetics first, or not, but you get the point. So all kinds of heads. There's your Asian versions too, which is nice. All kinds of variety. Let's see if the scars differ here. Yeah, they don't. Okay, so. Go with that. I'm not even sure, but I think that even the complexion is similar to the human one. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll skip that eye color. Same stuff going on here. Cybernetics, now the important thing. Uh, did, did that just add beard? That's weird. Is that like supposed to be a metallic beard? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Now, from what I understand, they actually they actually spiced things up with the cybernetics because at the beginning, I think they weren't as detailed, as far as I know. I, I'm not so sure because I haven't I haven't been in the beta since the very beginning, unfortunately, so I can't make a comment on that. But those actually look nice. That was cool. It's a little sad that nothing else changes though, so you're pretty much just playing a human with a little bit of cybernetic stuff in your face. Now, I'm not sure how much the... they probably don't differ from the human hairstyles. 
Yeah, they don't. Okay, and uh, hair and skin, skin color don't either, so we'll just randomize for the sake of it. Oh, also there is the option to randomize a name, which is also cool. It does offer you weird choices from time to time, but I mean, if you're just, you know, not really creative, then you can go and uh, pick that one. Okay, so let's yeah, check out the female get real some quick. Exercise. Get some exercise. Oh yes, I will let you listen to the vocal actors once we're done with the character creation. Again, so you get a feeling for the uh, voices. Let's lock that. Let's randomize real quick. And, um, let's see, complexion. really nice. There's so many options, holy crap. I'm, I'm impressed. This leaves you with a lot of variety. You can play around a lot, which is super cool. Okay, so they basically get the same stuff as the males do. Sure. Cosmetics. Probably similar to the human ones. But again, look at that. You get... There's even a variety in like eyeshadow and lipstick. Once you get like a blue eyeshadow and red li lipstick and then you get blue eyeshadow and a green lipstick, lipstick. So there's all kinds of stuff you can just switch up and change up. So that's really nice. Hairstyles. Same as the, the human models, so just won't st spend too much time on this. I'm just randomizing more. So yes, that would be the uh, female cyborg smuggler for you. Okay, what else have we got? Yes, the Twi'lek. Very interesting, very nice, very different from the other races so far, so. From anybody. Let's start with the females. Let's see if there's differences in body types here. Okay, yeah, I get the idea. Oh, see, like, it even changes up, or was it just my imagination? It seemed like. So with the cosmetics, the makeup changed too. I don't know, so scars, what have we got? Yeah, so the scars are the same for pretty every class, every species. Complexion sure as hell isn't. Look at that. Very nice stuff. Oh, yay! Internal art, okay. Whatever that was, um, sorry for that. Um, okay, so there you go. This is the loading screen in between, or I don't even know what that is, in between, um, yeah, like switching servers, stuff like that. So where were we? Yes, the Twi'lek. Okay. May the force be with you. Obviously, I picked a giant knight now, but that doesn't change anything really. So you get the idea. Eye colors, all kinds of crazy stuff. Those are actually really, really cool. They look. 
very authentic. Or just not, it's not too much. Just even if you look at a very intense purple, it just looks like it belongs to her, like it fits her. It's nice, really nice. Okay, patterns and cosmetics. Oh, so I guess it's both makeup as well as... Yeah, the tattoos. Yeah. Rotating is a little awkward. Quite some choices. Headbands. Holy crap. That does not look just like a headband. No, no, no. It's a little machine itself. Oh, so you can go without. That's nice. Okay, and uh, skin colors. Obviously very interesting for the Twi'lek. Yeah. And there are your random choices. Seriously, I if I had to choose right now, I... God, I'm so indecisive. I would spend hours on here. I could not decide. I'll probably have to go with just some Something random is about a duty and an honor. One. Okay, so let's look at the body type. Oh, look at him. You shall not pass. Right. <laughs> he belongs like in front of a club or something. I don't know. Okay, so let's lock that and take a look at the head. Scars we figured over lapsed with the overlaps. I'm not even sure if that's the proper word. They're the same as. Like for the humans, instead, yeah, for instance. There's some nice complexion going on here. I, I love how it actually affects the the back of their head, too. And it just, it's just not just the front. It's really nice. Eye colors. And patterns. So no headbands for you. Okay, so let's do that. Come on. So there are some that are not as prominent, and then there are some that are very intense and darker, obviously, which is cool. Skin color. Oh yes, I want a pink male Twi'lek. I'm loving that. It's not really, because he doesn't have like a Tattoos or face painting or hat bend just oh, oh, there you go. There's there's the variety good Good call by where By where okay, so the toilet we got the Miraluka. Yes This is a very interesting race as you can see because they you are be covering you. their eyes and This is actually really interesting Let's see uh, the mass, right? Let's switch it up just a little bit so you can actually get a, a look at the face. So what is going to happen with if you play a Miraluka is that you will never ever get to see her eyes. So you don't even get the feature to uh, select an eye color, eye color, which makes sense, right? But a cool thing is even though, and that does make sense too, even if you like pick a very big mask that covers most of the face, you can still, you know, customize everything else. The face and the cosmetics and all, so that's nice. Gives it a fairly personal touch. Mm. 
Alright, so all kinds of things. 40 choices. It's very nice. So, let's see, cosmetics. We're just gonna do all the other stuff before we change up the mass, because as you saw, those take up some space. So really, what you're looking for here... Oh, there you go. I was just going to say, it's really only about lip lipstick and some eyeshadow, maybe. But there you go. That's nice. I, I didn't know that one. I didn't know those. I think they were just recently added, actually. And the hairstyles probably shouldn't be different. Shouldn't differ too much from the human ones. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And hair color, skin color, all know that. So let's take a look at the mass. Those are very interesting and very different too, as you can see. Get your leather mask, your metal mask, mask your cloth. Look at that, like, seriously, wow. Very savagey looking, I'm liking that. Look at that. Very, very cool choices, Bioware. I am loving those, super cool, very nice. Those might actually be a Game Breaker, they, those might actually get me to play Miraluka. Look at that. Just so cool. Like a real savagey looking female. Okay, let's take a look at the males. Down all darkness in the galaxy. Now, what is important here? Um, complexion, probably. Mass, of course. But I have a feeling that those are the exact same. Yeah, they are. Which makes sense. So cool. And the hair just the same as the human. So really, the only thing we're going to check out is the head. Which is probably fairly similar to human as well. So I'll just go through it real quickly. And the complexion. Yeah, just the same as well. Okay, so let's randomize a little bit. Get you guys a feeling. There's really all kinds of stuff you can do. I'm loving it. So cool. Look at that. I could be, I could be creating Miralukas for like an entire day, which is not healthy nor interesting. So we are going to skip. And then there's the Mira, Miralan. I'm so sorry for obvi obviously mispronouncing stuff. Helping others is both a duty and an honor. Okay, so that is one badass green looking color. Hey, Mr. Kermud. Very similar to the human version. So, you probably already got the idea that they are all very humanish. It's mostly uh, differences in accessories and or skin color. I mean, even even with the choices, you get. Look at that, I love it. So many choices, it's unbelievable. They added a lot since this started. Super cool. And I have said super cool like a billion times. I'm sorry, wow, look at that. Holy crap, there's one evil looking guy. Um, tattoos, so that should be interesting. And as far as I can tell, you probably have to roll with one. Yeah. Hair, I don't care about that. Just 
randomize a little bit. Oh, skin color, of course. What did I do? Very exotic. Not your typical color. So, if you want to, you know, go off the mainstream, you can always go green or, <laughs> I don't know, look a little bit less human. He looked sleepy, holy crap. Right, and let's check out the females. I will face down all darkness in the galaxy. That is nice. Just a very noble gesture and something you should most definitely pursue. Right. Mm, complexion. I love how all the females get their makeup. Cause seriously, who who wouldn't put on their makeup in the morning? You know, just before a huge intergalactic battle with starships and companions and lightsabers and blaster fire, all that good stuff, right? So. I take the tattoos are just the same. Oh, look at that. Makeup's changing too. So there you go. That's your way of changing it up here for you gals. Hairstyles we've seen and uh, skin color. Right, and some randomizing. Okay guys, and as far as I know, this is probably it for the species. I don't think there are more that I can show you. So what we're going to do, finally, to close this one, is we're going to take a look, or actually listen to the voice acting, which can, you know, play a significant role while picking your class. So, there you go. Uh, one thing before we start is you, what you might want to keep in mind is that all the male Jedi Knights have one voice. It doesn't differ. Like, it, do it doesn't make a difference if you play, say, a Twi'lek or a human. They both have the same voice. It just changes from class to class. So you have a class voice actor, but not um, different voice actors per, uh, per race. If that makes any sense. Okay. May the force be with you. Right. I've dedicated my life to serving others. Well, uh, this is me just realizing that a play sound to sample the sound button would be super in the character creation. Maybe that one will be added. Helping others is both a duty and an honor. And somehow I have a talent for talking about the voices, so I'm just gonna shut up right now. I will face down all darkness in the galaxy. I've dedicated my life to serving others. Helping others is both a duty and an honor. And I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Well, Wow, wow, I'm, I wish I was on like pain medication or something or sick or I don't even know. I was just spacing out. Wow, um, obviously, as I just told you, those are all the same voice actors. I was like, this sounds super familiar. Well, duh. Okay, so those were the Jedi Knight uh, voices and uh, yes, let's check out the Jedi Counselor then. The Jedi way is to serve. There you go. May the Force be with you. Okay, and uh, 
the smuggler. I don't take orders from anybody. I wasn't planning to live forever anyway. I'm in. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if you got that, so let's just take a look at one more. I don't take orders from anybody. There you go. I could see things your way for the right money. Right. And finally, the last class, and this is also going to conclude this video. Be sure to check out number two as soon as it's done, which will take as a, a soldier of the Republic, it's my duty to help. Closer look at the Empire character creation. I'm a soldier. I'll get the job done. Well, that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching the Beta Bounty.